What's up guys, Sarah Strake here, and I am proud to announce that I finally got my graphics card, and I am finally going to start doing Let's Plays, and the first Let's Play that we are going to do is StarCraft Wings of Liberty. Now, I'm going to play all of the, the entire series. I'm not going to do the Brood Wars because it is hard as hell to record sometimes. I will try. I'm going to start with this series first because this is um, very much NVIDIA. Um, the Brood Wars is not like... The NVIDIA doesn't really work well with the Brood Wars. Um, the graphics are real... Because it's such an old game, the graphics really do mess up from time to time. Um, I'm hoping that later on I'll be able to. Uh, later on down the road, but as of right now, I'm just going to stick to the StarCraft 2 saga. So we're going to start with Wings of Liberty. We're going to go into Legacy of the Void. And then I actually already pre-ordered it, and I've already paid it off completely. But when... Um, Legacy of the Void comes out, I will also be doing Let's Plays on that as well. So I'm hoping you guys really do enjoy this. I can't wait. I've played this about a million times. I know it says it's on casual, but I, I normally just play it just for fun. I don't actually play it to get all the achievements and stuff, because I, I don't always believe that you should have to play a game just for the achievements. I think if you love the game enough, you play the game just for the game. And I've loved the StarCraft saga. I love the books. I love the... um everything about it you know and, and so i i play it and i read about it for the love of it not for the actual will i have to get this achievement or i have to do this in order to make myself look good online because let's face it i that's never gonna happen with me i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to do that at all so we are going to actually start a new game um on normal um and we're just gonna work from there so let's Clickety click on this one, and I know you saw my toolbox. No, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to continue. You, mm. bitch. Well, scratch that scene out. Now, shall we? Okay, now we're back to where we wanted to be. I'm sorry about that. I meant to hit more. New campaign. We're just gonna go on normal. We're not gonna try hard or brutal right now. Um, for some of the levels, for some of the maps, I might do it. I also plan on doing like multiplayer in the arcade because I absolutely love some of the maps and the games on the arcade. They are phenomenal. So now we're gonna start the game. So click, 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 click. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, there we go. Perfect. So they say a man never really knows himself. until his freedom's been taken away. And I am drinking my uh, Zing green tea, not sponsored by Zing tea in any way. I just absolutely well love them. How do you know yourself?
suit sealed and locked. You carry your prison with you. That armor will be your new cell. Make no mistake. War is coming. With all its glory. And all its horror. Mr. Findlay. Your freedom awaits. Hell, it's about time. Okay, now what I like about the uh, the intro to this whole thing is all the little minute details you see when they're putting the suit together. It must have taken them forever to have to come up with all that, to come up with all the mechanics, to come up with pretty much everything there is to it when it comes to those suits. Having to create how it's put together and how it's built, it's absolutely amazing. Ooh, more cutscenes. so-called brood war some four years ago. Our own Kate Lockwell was on the scene. Emperor, the threat of a new Zerg invasion is still very real, but instead of expanding our fleets, you've squandered trillions on hunting down has-been rebels like Jim Been Raider. There. Jim Raider represents a clear and present threat to this dominion. Of course I like Jack and Coke. He is an unscrupulous, lawless revolution and vodka. bent on spreading fear and dissension across the sector. And Guinness. I'm 25. I drink. What do you want from me? <clears throat> Ugh. Sorry about this. I think it's really cold up here in Alaska really fast. So head colds and stuff, they uh, start a lot earlier for us up here than they do for most of you down in the lower 48 where the people that watch my show. <laughs> Adjutant, are my troops ready yet? Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Backwater Station is the center of Dominion Logistics on Masara. Destroying Dominion Authority here will cripple Emperor Menk's operations throughout the planet. And don't worry, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna skip any cutscenes, I'm not gonna skip the adjutant talking or anything. I don't want to do that because I want to give you guys the full experience of the game for those of you who haven't played or for those of you who don't know if you want to play the game um, or not. I, I absolutely love what Blizzard did with this. I Granted, it took him 10 years. <clears throat> from Brood Wars to get to StarCraft Two Wings of Liberty, but it was well worth it. I, the game, it's just mountains uh, of enjoyment and, and incredibleness, if that's even a word. Um, okay, so we're gonna start. We are going to start with Mar with uh, Liberation Day. Uh, this is the first Adjutant, one you do. What do you got for me? Dominion forces have set up a logistics headquarters in the town of Backwater Station. This has become the hub for all operations on Marsara. The Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city, and they are now under strength. Are the locals cooperating? The people of Backwater Station are known to be anti-Dominion, but they lack weapons and organization. If I can take that headquarters away from Mengsk, it'll cripple him on this planet. Prep my ship. Another thing I like about my graphics card, the graphics were so much better than my old one. The, the old graphics card I had was the uh, the GeForce GT640. Now, if you're going to just be a casual gamer and you still want good graphics, that's a great card to get. It's not easy to find because it is a hard card to find these days, the GT series, because everything is now GTX and uh, NTI series. And the one I have now is the... Um, the GeForce GTX 750 Ti, which is how I'm able to record. I'm using Shadow Record. I'm doing it manually so I can record as much as humanly possible for this game. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, yay. Oh, I'm so happy inside. Yay, I'm so happy inside. Oh, I can start recording videos and let, let you guys watch them and everything. It's so great. Okay, so press the key to continue. 
And just the detail in this game, I love it. I just love all the detail that they've got for this game. The shadows can be a little wonky from time to time. Like, you can see... Um, you can see the shadows sometimes vibrate every now and again, especially when it comes to cutscenes um, or actual uh, video. Commander, but that's just because it is shadow, and there are always going to be issues when it comes to creating shadows in games. But yeah, and I'm actually, I'm not going to watch any of the help things, any of the tutorials. Um, this is kind of a tutorial, my video, so you're just going to have to watch me. <laughs> Okay, so wide, your eyes open and your ass control is one move. to make them into just one unit. Press A. Raiders roll. Yeah, I know. Blah blah. Close that. Hey, look, it's a dog. Hey, puppy. C can I kill you? Can I has this? Can I blows you up? No. A really cool thing though in this game, and I don't know if we'll be able to do it in this map. I can't remember. Um. If we like a find Don't go up that road. anything, <clears throat> Time to man up. if we find a, we roll. might be able to. Um, there's a thing where you can Sounds actually like blow up the um, like native animals. Like if you find any wild animals at all in the area Raiders and you roll. click on them enough, they explode. I'm not kidding. It's absolutely hilarious. All right, can I do it with these? Let's see. Uh, clicking, clicking. Are you gonna let me do it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Let me blow you. Let me blow you up! Aw, oh, it won't let me blow him up. Okay, uh, like I said, there are some you can do it on. Uh, just not all of them. Can you do it on the cow? Oh, it won't even let me touch the cow right now. Keep a close watch on your neighbors. Descent will only slow our progress. Commander, destroying the Dominion holoboards will help incite rebellion against the Dominion. I hate him. There's a reason. That's it. He, he's a bad bad guy. Can I blow him up? Please tell me I- YES! I DID IT! <laughs> See? I blew up that cow just by clicking on him spastically. Oh, that's so, so awesome! I don't know what it is about it, but I just love doing it! I love blowing up the local animals without even having to actually shoot them. No, I, I just click on him a bunch and I blow the fuck out of him. It's great. Not in that way! I, I know you YouTubers. I, I know you subscribers. I know how you think. I know, because I think like that too sometimes. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you! Raiders roll. Oh, shit storms. My neighbors. My family. This is starting to look ugly. Can I? And you can't really do it with the birds, though, I think, is what it is. Um, there are some you can, but I think if they can fly, I mean, if they have the AI t capability to fly, I don't I don't think you can do it. You can count so, on me. Because I was trying to click on those ones, and those ones are, yeah, see, they're supposed to be able to fly, and I don't think they work. Commander, a large Dominion force is gathering in the center of town. Then it's time to call in that special delivery we talked about. Click on this, click on one, so I can wrong. Sounds like a Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raider. Oh, they're not looking too good at all. Ooh, okay. You can count on me. Let's see. In there, yeah, there's like six of these things that you gotta blow up. Time to man up. Oh, you don't have to. Uh, it's also an achievement, by the way. Um, if you are looking for the achievements, one of the achievements, I think, is... <clears throat> blowing it all up um and a lot of these achievements some of them are really easy to get others not so much raiders this is bad man so <laughs> i'm still getting off that high though from blowing that cow up oh god that was so much fun ah that's raider most wanted man in the dominion this roll count on me ah sounds like a plan you can count on me. And they talk constantly. Sounds like a plan. Press a button and they just talk. You tell them to go somewhere and they talk. It it, it does get annoying um, from time to time, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh. Finally. There's the locals. You'll all be given a meal when you reach the dig site. My brother went off to the mine last week. He disappeared. 
And the, the, the lip and voice sync it isn't, like, um, uh, uh, incredible, like, with the next-gen stuff, because this technically run. isn't a next-gen game. Move in. Um, I mean, games like Until Dawn on the PS4 would be considered a next-gen game, not really this. Um, but, I mean, it's still got, like, it's still an absolutely incredible game. Sounds like a plan. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. Lynx has a lot to pay for. Thank you, Raynor. We knew you wouldn't forget us. Go. There's more people still being held up ahead. I'll see to them. Are you gonna fucking help me at all? I can't remember if you guys actually Time do. To man up. Do you? Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Marshal Raynor. Been a while since we saw you around here. We're with you, Raiders. You can count on me. Y'all gonna actually come with me? Or? Sounds like a plan. Y'all ready for this? Do, 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 you can count on me. Mm. Yes, I know I can. This is a fucking... restricted area. You insurgents are under arrest. We got your back, Raider. Sounds like a plan. Blowing shit up! It's my Time favorite thing in the whole wide world. Sounds like a plan. Count on me. Raiders roll. Time to man up. I didn't think we could fight them, but we can. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. Remember, Minx can only control you if you let him. I mean, see, I've already gotten all the achievements and stuff for these games. So, because I've, I actually have played them all, all the levels and everything on normal. Um, I have already done that, and I have done some of the missions on hard as well as you can plainly see. Not all of them. But like I said, it's because, I mean, I don't always play for the achievements. I do for some of them, um, but not all of them, <clears throat> if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. So we just got to go back, drink some more green tea. Again, not sponsored, just absolutely love and adore and admire. And I think my blood is like part ginseng at this point i know it's like half caffeine too so it works i just spit on myself and my keyboard i just cleaned <laughs> oh boy um and i think i'll do i'll try and do two missions a game um this one's probably going to be a lot longer just because it's got the really long cutscene. Um, the, the two cutscenes in the fr in the beginning, and it's got this one, and it's got a few more. But there's so much in this game, especially not even when you're in the battle, but when you're just clicking on random stuff you know, and you try and find everything. The there's just the so much, and, and it's hard. Man. It's not hard. It's hard to get through all of it and still have enough gameplay because you can dedicate a half hour to just wandering around the ship and clicking on everything little to try and get all the minute, like little ten second cut pieces. Uh, cut scenes and everything because you can't actually get an achievement for that like clicking on fucking everything just Time clicking spastic it's not easy and you can miss things because there are some really really small things or things that you're like there's no way in hell but yeah it ha it happens I heard they put you so. on ice live sentence Work. oh that felt good to give you time off for good behavior that's right old buddy I'm a model citizen now. I like Tychus. He is a badass. <laughs> so to what do I owe the pleasure? Just a friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for him. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tigus? 
partners then? 60 40. 70 30. My way. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times. By the way, my son's actually going to be dressing up as Jim Rainer for uh, Halloween. He's got blonde hair, though, so it doesn't help. Uh, we're not going to dye his hair, but I'm going to put, like, scruff. Uh, I'm going to take uh, face paint. I'm going to put scruff all over him. And he's got a, a onesie, uh, a decent, like, 24-month onesie and some nice dark pants. And I'm going to get him some boots and stuff. And it, it, it's he's going to be the shit. He really is. He's going to be the shit. <laughs> <laughs> his costume isn't done yet but oh he's gonna look absolutely awesome i love it okay so when i talked about clicking on everything you have to click on everything so you know you got to click on all these two on all the tips and the help stuff click on tychus just curious, click on everything how'd you get out because there well, are easter eggs in this I game and you need to click on shit freezer while they were transporting me to new Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water, made off with the warden's daughter. Don't you get up buddy with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. I ain't licked yet, Tychus. And I promise you, Minsk is going down, one way or another. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then you can also click on what him. What is this swill? You can... Okay, you can't click on the badge. Okay, you can click on the badge later on. Uh, always click on the TVs. There's always news and shit and, like, commercials and things to watch. <laughs> this is Donnie Vermillion. Live from the UNN studios on Core Hall, we've got a breaking story for you. Let's Donnie's such a tool. He really is. He the is the biggest tool on the goddamn Kate. media planet Thanks, Donnie. when it Rebel comes to this Jim universe. Rainer has reappeared in a big way. He's attacked a Dominion Depot near Backwater Station, seizing weapons and distributing them to the local populace. Can I bet the locals are pretty nervous about having a notorious outlaw in their neighborhood. Actually, Donnie, the people I talked to seemed really encouraged Thanks, by Kate. the... You heard it here first. Jim Rayner terrorizing the locals on Marsara. When we return, are your kids using stim packs? Keep talking, pal. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Look, it's apparently babies need to buff up in this one. So, okay, so. This looks recent. This you're doing, Jimmy? Folks in these parts are ready to fight back against Maxx. Guess they just needed a little push. You still take this whole revolution thing pretty serious, then. Everyone needs a hobby, Takis. Yeah, because starting a revolution against an entire empire is apparently a hobby. Yeah. Star Trek, or Star Wars 2016. <laughs> okay, uh, then there's this. Sarah. Sometimes, I think it would have been better if you just died that day. Okay, the backstory behind this, this goes to like the original StarCraft and StarCraft Brood Wars. She is part of a ghost, she's part, she was part of the ghost project. The ghosts are like psychics and they use their psychic powers in order to help the government and stuff. They're like, they're like the special forces of the 20 whatever century that this is. It's like 24th or 25th century. Um, but, you know, she went rogue uh, because Minx pretty much saved her and they thought he was a good guy because they were going up against the Confederate, which was the old government. They threw the, they threw the old government, but at the cost of her life and the Zerg taking her and turning her into the Queen of Blades, which is like the badass of all Zerg, which are the aliens in this world. So now... They're going to have to, they, they, they were fighting her for the longest time in Brood Wars. She kind of won, but she's been silent for the last four years. They haven't heard anything from the Zerg. And Minsk ended up becoming just as bad of a tyrant as the Confederates. And now, and they're, he's now pretty much, um, he's trying to set things the way they should. Not Minx, excuse me, but um, Jim's pretty much trying to put things back the way they should. Pretty much by, um getting rid of Minx so that 
somebody else can take over. Hopefully somebody that's not as bad as Minx, because Minx is actually worse. Excuse me. God, it's the drink. Um, he's a lot worse than the Confederates, so... Yeah, it's a whole story. And there is actually decision-making in this when it comes to certain things that you do and don't do. There really is. And uh, I think that it, it's not so much a butterfly. It is actually kind of a butterfly effect because it does affect the characters in some ways later on, depending on what decisions you make. But there's not a whole lot where you can consider this to be a butterfly effect game. But at the same time, it is. Uh, and it's not only just the decisions with the storyline itself, but the different missions that you choose and also um, the different tech that you choose to upgrade as well. You know, yeah, you can upgrade this, but at the cost of this kind of a thing. So you can you, you can get an advantage in this way, but you're going to take a huge disadvantage that way and it will affect your gameplay. Um, so it kind of works. It is a very decision-making based game when it comes to that stuff. Um, with a little bit of the butterfly effect thrown in there just for a little pizzazz. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much where it goes on that. So I think we clicked on everything. Oh, you could also play music. So. We are not going to listen to it because it is all copyright. Thanks to your actions, it really no is. Open revolt against Arcturus Mengsk. Ex-convict Tychus Findlay has revealed the Dominion came to Marsara to excavate an alien artifact. Yes, he Seizing did. Seizing the artifact will strike another blow against the Dominion and Aww. generate funds from selling it to Findlay's mysterious contacts. Okay. We are going to launch this motherfucker. This old outpost don't look like anything special. Keep your shirt on, son. The meaning in God, I love how the graphics look so much better with my new card. And it's not even a new card, it's an older card. But at the same time, just the jump, like everything is, I think, is set in either high or ultra when it comes to the graphics for this game. I love it. I love it, because I can only really do medium uh, with my last card, and you could really see, you could just, you could see the difference in everything. And I'm looking at it, and it just, I'm in awe. At this point, I really am. So this is going to be the last mission I think we're going to do. Um, because this has actually ran on for... We've been doing this for like 28 minutes now. Um, the episodes aren't going to be that long. Uh, like I said, I'm going to only probably do like two missions at a time. Depending on the missions. Some missions are really short. Some missions are really long. So I'll probably do as many as three. It depends. But there's also a lot of cutscenes that are involved in this game. And there's a lot of video scenes and everything. So it, it, it really does depend. So I have a feeling two will probably be the max. Stay in the rear. Huh? There we go. All right, everybody spread out. Everybody spread out. Everybody fucking spread out. Spread the fuck out. Commander, additional tutorials are available for you to review. I don't care. I'm not watching the goddamn tutorials. We'll need a lot more Marines before we take on the Dominion outpost. Train them up at the barracks. While we're at it, extra SCVs will help us harvest minerals faster. Train them up at the command center. But I do, the, the game is just very, it is a very pretty game. It's a beautiful game. It really is, and there's a lot to it. Um, there really is. It's your dime. Okay. So these are crystal, these are minerals, and they're, they're a kind of crystal that you use um, when it comes to money, I guess. This is your kind of currency. This is Vespian gas. You also use Vespian gas as currency as well as in areas, and you really use it when it comes to um, training certain units and whatnot. So we are actually going to build a refinery over this. We're going to minimize this. Now you can just do it by R. And there's, I'm, I don't like using my keyboard as much. If I could just click it, because sometimes it is faster to click. And I don't, like I said, I'm not always a huge fan of having to remember what keys do what. Um, because it's a pain in the ass. Oh, look, 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 look. Clicking, 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 clicking. No, don't. Ah! Yes, we exploded another one. Yay! <laughs> Murder and death. Yes, we're breakfast. Because I'm a badass that way. Okay. Uh, you can get up to three guys to work on here. You can actually get three SCVs, three of these workers to work on each crystal, and they just, like, shoot out like crazy. But at the same time, you gotta have a lot of these supply depots because they don't, like... It, they, they don't hold too much when it comes to... how many units you can have. And there is a cap. I think these things only give you, like, 
10 extra... 10 extra units at a time, I think? Uh... Probably? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's only like 10 extra units at a time, so... And with this... Okay, this is a tech lab. And as you can see, it does, um, it does cost Vespian gas to create. So we need to create that. And with the tech lab, you can create medics so that when your marines get hurt, the medics will heal them. But you always want to try and keep your medics in the back so that they don't, like, fuck up and die. Um, because they are kind of stupid. And the AI for these things is a little stupid even when you're commanding them. And it doesn't always know what to do. So you just got to kind of, like... Take it as it comes, I guess. It's a pain in the ass, but, you know, what are, what are you going to do about it? Um, okay, I'm going to do that. And then, if you hold shift while you're, like, trying to figure out what you want to build, and if you need multiple things built, yep. you can do that, and it will automatically make it to where, as soon as you're finished building one thing, it will go and build the next thing, so it's got an order as to what it will and will not build. Okay, so you go there, so I need... Since I only have enough for one medic, do I? Yeah, I only have enough for one medic. God damn it. There we go. Okay, two medics. And then we'll get three more marines. And there is a, a thing on here. There's an achievement. If you play this game on hard for this level, um, if you can beat it in like 10 minutes, and it's hard as shit. I have not been able to beat it in 10 minutes flat and under. The closest I have come was like 10 minutes and 13 seconds or something. It was really close, and I was so pissed, but this goddamn building would not explode. It wouldn't go down. And if it had gone down when it was supposed to, without the little SCV hiding, then coming back and like fixing it up when it did... Oh, it was so, I was so close, and it pisses me off to this day, and I've, I don't know if I've ever been able to get it. Um, I actually haven't played this game in a couple months, um, just because I've been busy with other games, and I've been busy trying to get this channel up and running and everything, so it's been one heck of an adventure, uh, trying to get this game to work, and, and trying to get this channel up, but... The fact that I'm able to finally do this, and the fact that I'm able to do this for all you guys, and, and to play games that I want to play, it just, it, it really does. It warms my heart. And you can actually have these things lift up and go over to certain areas. And I actually want them to go over here. And because I've played this game before, I, I kind of know what's going to happen. I know what needs to happen. So I need the extra one because you definitely need to make, you're definitely going to need multiples. And my nose is just running like crazy. And it is really starting to piss me off. Ah. It makes me wonder if I have, like, food allergies or something, especially when it comes to Chinese food. I love Chinese food. We just add Chinese food for dinner, and I think it's awesome. See, they even have windmills here. I think that's really cool. And there's just, there's so much detail, and you even see little sparks of this thing. Like, when it's coming down, when it's flying, you know, showing discharge and everything. It's just, it's so unique. You can even see them, like, you can sometimes see, like, the trees just barely moving. It's supposed to be them, like, blowing in the breeze and stuff. See? Look at that. Look! There's just so much to it. The cactuses look absolutely badass. That's like the bat most badass cactus I have ever seen. Okay. Control 1 it again. Put you all over it. here. Oh, these. Uh, gas pellets and mineral pellets. It's like, on average, anywhere from like 75 to 100 each. Um, and you can use them and you just get- it's just uh, kind of like- Something that fell off the truck or something, just extra materials for you to use and consume. It's great. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here first. Because there's more. And I'm not, because I'm not playing on hard, I'm not going for the, uh... Affirmative. For the achievement. Of course. So normally there's yes, multi- there's, Normally there's like a couple marines Looking up here that would be rude. Ah, ah, ah! Sorry, Lyota! Sorry, Lyota! There we go! No, 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 no! Ah! There we go! Okay, we exploded more animals. The, the fauna is just gonna absolutely- Oh, there you are, you little sons of bitches. No, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. No, over here. There we go. See? There we go. And then you wanna go over here. You two. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. You gonna give me orders? Okay. 
I'll wait there for now, wait for you guys to catch up. I sometimes wonder if, like, the medical staff is, like, legitimately Commander, slow just because it likes being slow. Good. That'll keep the Dominion off our backs. Those folks need our help, Tigers. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. Okay, and there's a reason why I brought this, because now this is going to go over here. And I'm going to put you right there. You guys sure are a welcome sight. Um, since you. there's a bunch of pallets and stuff, I'm Welcome going. Aboard, boys. Of course. Rainer's the man. Yeah. It's Rainer's boys. Dominion can go to hell. And you are going to need Marines. You're going to need a lot of them, and a lot of like medical personnel and everything. You're just going to need shit. Uh huh. And move it. Will do. There we go. Armed and ready. Add on complete. Okay. And you don't need a whole lot of medics. Um, I know a lot of people say well, you should like have like one medic for every like two or three um, marines. I don't do that ratio. I just kind of do what feels right uh, when it comes to this. And yeah, so this is actually going to be the dry part of it, just trying to build up the army. And this is this is what takes the longest. Um, so I'm going to do a little talking. If it starts getting a little boring, I'll fast forward. I'm not cheating. You can't, you can cheat in this game, but if you cheat in this game, it cuts you off from all achievements. It cuts you off from a lot of stuff. So cheating is a very bad thing when it comes to this. Um, and some of the cheats though are absolutely hilarious. And they're, they're the ones that carried over from the older games, uh, from the Brood Wars and the original Starcraft. Um, and they're, they're absolute, they're so funny. They really are. It's not that they're bad or anything. I mean, yeah, some cheating is bad. It depends. But some of the cheats are just absolutely, they are hilarious and they are phenomenal to use. And, um, I have a lot of games that I plan on playing the cheats for you guys so that you can see. Let's move out and take it to We've got to clear this area. Yeah, so you can see just what the cheats are, what some of the cheats are like in some of the games that I have, because I do have Age of Mythology and Age of Empires 3, um, and some of those cheats are just, they are the funniest thing in the goddamn planet. They really are, and I actually don't need you. You'll be fine, just as you guys, so... You. I got, okay, so I got one more... Medic, and then... Four more marines, and that should actually be good because I think that's going to be a, the doctor is in. that should be a good enough to take on the um, see because I'm already at ten minutes and I, I try to go much faster in this game uh, when I'm playing hardcore, but or when I'm playing hard mode, it's not always easy. So, but I mean, you know, it is what it is, and you just got to kind of deal with it. So. <sighs> So, gateway coming through by the numbers. Five. So I should have 36 by the end of this, which is actually a decent size. You want a piece of All me, right. Boy. Keep your shirt on, Sparky. Bad guys are that away. Go get him! Outstanding. Orders received. Warning. Dominion Hellions approaching. Can't wait. And even with the medics, you know, you're gonna lose Marines in this. Just because of the bunkers and stuff, and there is a, nice the size of the Dominion is a decent skills we are gonna go a long way together you 
Got and what I hate about this is that you have to de destroy every single wow. goddamn building in order to win. I mean, it's not like you can't just take out the the main thing. Uh, you can't take out the command center and just be done with it. That's not how it works. You have to take out every single building. Which for me just seems really tedious. It really does. If you take out the main buildings and all of these like little supply depots, I don't see why they should really count, but you know, it, it is what it is, I guess. <clears throat> my voice is off today, by the way. Normally it's a lot smoother than this. Uh, my voice has been off a lot lately. Like I said, it's because the cold wind, the cold weather's come in so fast, it's really been messing with it. But once it gets used to it, in I'll sound a lot smoother. Let me see if I can if I can sound the way I normally sound when I'm playing games and stuff. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so this is how I normally sound. Um, it's a little, I guess, smoother, uh, you can say. <laughs> um, but it's gonna end up going to horse again soon. So, there we go! And we are done! Yes! Crane controls accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. Beautiful. Now let's reel that sucker in and get out of here. See, I haven't gotten the achievement yet, and... Ugh, it kills me inside, it really does. <laughs> I have tried, and I have tried, and I have tried to get the achievement. I have tried so many fucking times to get that achievement. But I've never actually been able to do it, and I don't appreciate it. The fact that the game just kind of flips me the bird every goddamn time I try. I, oh my god. Oh, it makes my brain hurt every time. And this is actually one of the... And one of the missions that doesn't take very long because actually 12 minutes and 56 seconds, that's long for me because normally it only takes me about 11 minutes to finish this and that's on hard. Um, and I'm just, like I said, and it's because I'm talking a lot more to you guys and I'm not concentrating 100%. I'm concentrating on you guys because you guys deserve my attention. So, and I can already hear my voice. Like I said, once the... I gets used to the cold weather because it just gets really cold really fast here. Um, it'll sound a little better. Um, <coughs> yeah, but right now, yep. Yeah, see, it's mm. so we'll continue on that. We're gonna go back to the bar. We'll click on a bunch of stuff and then we'll end the video for now. So right now, I'm only gonna do one video a day. I'm not gonna do two. Um, I don't want to do two videos a day. It's, it's not that I don't want to want to do two videos a day. It's just the fact that it's not easy right now. Um, oh, man. but Didn't I will eventually. Did straight here know he was hiring an arch criminal as his marshal? <laughs> he was arch criminal? Guess my tough guy reputation kept things nice and quiet around here. All the time I wore that badge. So it's the 25th century, anybody. excuse me. Yeah. Well, where's the fun in Ish, that? I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's the 26th. Uh, fuck, I don't know what it's supposed to be. So. What is this swill? Feels like I'm always being watched. <laughs> do you see Do you see the thing in the background? Do you see the TV? <laughs> it's the eye gun or something. That is just absolutely so stupid. Thanks for staying with us. Let's go now to Kate Lockwell with an update on Jim Rayner's violent uprising. Thanks, Donnie. Rayner's clearly widening his list of targets. He's attacked a Dominion archaeological dig and possibly seized a dangerous alien artifact. Emperor Mansk spoke on this subject earlier today. There's no telling what kind of havoc these supposedly innocuous relics might wreak upon our worlds. Anyone found in possession of these items will be dealt with to the fullest extent of the law. Look on the bright side, partner. You're a wanted man either way. Thanks, Tigus. Shocking, Kate. I imagine civilian casualties were high as a result of Rainer's terrorist actions. Actually, the only civilian deaths appear to be collateral damage from overzealous Dominion security force. Oh, thanks, Kate. You heard it here first. Jim Rainer. Don't trust Dominion security forces, people. They'll shoot you in the fucking face or in the back, whichever one they decide, because apparently they're too dyslexic to think otherwise. Did I say dyslexic? Wouldn't I don't know if I really like meant Jimmy. that. Oh. Fighting them Zerg. 
All the scrapes we were in back in the day, all the narrow escapes, none of it compares to how terrible they are, Tychus. You don't know what real fear is until you've got a thousand of these sons of bitches barreling down on you. So who's your mysterious buyer, Tychus? Who are we supposed to hand this artifact over to? A bunch of eggheads I ran into called the Mobius Foundation. Mobius? They're a legitimate research group. Why the hell are they talking to you? Soon as your boy Mansk made it illegal to trade an alien goods, they got desperate. And you know me, Jimmy. I am a great patron of the sciences. Oh yeah, yeah, you're, you're fucking terrific, all right. Please. Have to say, Jimmy, you turned into a real impressive fighter. I want that gun. If I was old Minsk, I'd be running scared from you too. I really you want really that mean gun. That, Tychus? Nah, I was just kidding. <laughs> that was a jackass thing to say. I like I said I haven't played this in a long time so I don't remember all of what they say. Um, I remember bits and pieces. What's this? I heard them Zer got burned out by them creepy Protoss a few years back. It's been four years and they're still finding burrowed dens out in the wastelands. Well, a trophy like that's gotta fetch a good price on a black market. Up for some hunting, partner? Knock yourself out, Tychus. Me? I've hunted enough Zerg for two lifetimes. Dude, you're flat broke. You could really use the money. But whatever. Okay, uh, I think that's everything. So, yeah, besides clicking... And I'm not going to click on the music for future reference. Um, because... Uh, I don't know how they're going to react on YouTube. Because some of this is legitimate music from like... It, it isn't that old. So that's all the time we have for today, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section down below if you want to see more of these videos. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. As always, I am Sarah Strake. I love each and every one of you, and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I love this game. This is my absolute favorite game in the whole world. Oh, where's that stupid? There it is. There it is.